Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're at a pond that we haven't fished at in a few uh, few months, actually. Uh, it's kind of tough. It's been tough over the summer. Uh, we'll see how today fares. We got uh, a couple of different baits I want to throw for sure. One's a drop shot, and the other one, um, we're going to throw a buzz bait. I just want to give that a dangle just to see what I can get on top water. It is uh, sunny. It's about 90 degrees right now partly cloudy so we'll kind of see how that's going to fare today with the um with the the bites other than that though if you like what you see smash that like button hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell and uh, we'll see if we can't get on a few big ones Sometimes uh, trying to figure out what they're eating, where they're located in the water, it could be kind of difficult sometimes. I just threw a, uh, I threw a jig earlier, which now that shit got him, but I wasn't moving it kind of fast. Threw a drop shot, no hits at all. So we're gonna throw a, we're gonna throw a 10 inch Mondo worm. We're gonna see how this goes. All right, spot number three. Um, if you can't tell, we're, I'm moving pretty quick. I've only got about an hour to fish, so I'm trying to make the most of it. The other two spots I were at, um, could I catch fish there? Of course, I, I can, but it could be another 10 minutes or another hour. I, you know, it, sometimes it's hard to say. When that fish bite turns off, it's hard to know when it's gonna start back up again. So either case though, we're gonna throw that crankbait. This one's gonna be a Strike King Hybrid Hunter Jr got two treble hooks but that uh if you can see the bill of it is shaped differently i tell you if you ain't got one of these these are the killer right here this is saw so let's see how many we can catch all right spot number three or four can't remember now i'm gonna keep throwing that crankbait so oh lord that, that that's him heavy heavy duty armpit saturation that's an early warning sign of the dehydration you guys to have h2o please Look, you need to cranking them today that's why sometimes it just pays to crank that's what we got right there look at this butte right there it's a brute right there them bite the first time right not a big one but it's all right it's a fish and we're catching Most, if you can hold the fish like that, it'll paralyze them so they won't move. Just have a firm grip on them. All right, this is fish number five or so, but right there, I caught it right at the bank, too. Something I didn't mention in the 
the last couple of catches, whenever I'm swimming uh, or cranking or reeling back in my crankbait, when I get close to either the boat or the bank, I'll slow it down just enough to where I can see it. Cause sometimes you'll have a follower with this. He may not always commit to it, uh, but you'll have one there. So if you do, you at least know that you're on the right track. If you, uh, if he does bite it, you're right there at the boat. You may miss it if you just yank it right, right from the uh, water. So keep that in mind. Good, if you're gonna throw a crankbait or Spinner bait or something like that. Always have a another uh, something slower like a Texas rig or fluke or something tied on as a secondary. So if they miss it, you can always throw back in there with that bait and uh, hopefully catch them. I didn't anticipate catching this guy. I was actually setting my drag. I noticed that my drag was loose on that last one. There we go. I don't know what, what number that is right there, but not too bad. Pretty healthy looking fish, so. There we go right there this is not bad at all so i am on the next day uh, i had a couple of issues with my uh with the footage i recorded so i got to come back and uh and re-hit uh, an area that i had already caught a couple of fish in so let's get after it got a texas rig tied back on let's throw this and see how much of a difference between this and the jig will affect the bite Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Scheme up, scheme up. Uh, oh. Here go. Look at this guy right here. Right there. Texas rig. Let's go, baby. So I got that one I hooked it right in underneath the, the bottom lip. But um, it's crazy threw this out there today this is the same worm i was using yesterday uh that's pretty beat up i'm not gonna lie right here is a well now it's probably a seven and a quarter but a 10 inch mondo worm surprisingly this has been lasting pretty good so i like to utilize the worm as much as i can so now it's a little bit smaller but should still get the job done All right, so we got that Guggen 10 inch Mondo one right there. Texas rig it. Don't forget to detach the tail. So this is what they'll do. Freaking take your worm and then leave you the weeds. Come on, man. I just put the worm on there too. All right, I'm out of black and blue, but we got plum. So she worked pretty good in this pond. Traditionally, bass don't hit again. Once they hit, once you've hooked them once, they typically won't bite again, but I've already proved that, that theory wrong this morning. 
So let's see if we can't get this guy to bite again. This guy's messing with me now. Look at that. Took half my worm. I had a big one, a little chunky. I'd say he's probably, probably about a pound and 1.15. All right. I gotta be careful on this bank. There's a ton of snakes here. I'm not looking forward to getting bit today. All right. There you go, another one. I don't think it's the same one. All right. Right there. Man. Hit it. That was a good looking one. Oh, man. I, see him. I don't know what's going on with my rod, but as I was reeling in, it was just grinding the heck out of my line. I'm surprised I still kept it. It's actually this eyelid right here. I can see it now. Yeah, this line is shot now. So either case though, uh, it's always good to take a look at what you got, your equipment. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, today, gotta say, Texas rig killed it on the on the bass today. So we tried the Texas rig throughout the uh, even the drop shot. No success with that today, which isn't didn't shock me. I kind of knew the bass were uh, were down at the bottom. It's pretty it's been pretty hot the past couple of days. So either case, though, don't forget if you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, the notifications bell. If there's something you want to see, drop me a comment. Let me know. Y'all be safe out there. Tight lines.